Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. So glad you're here. So today I am going to decorate a couple of the glassine bags that came in the kit for my new journal. I'm super excited about this journal. I haven't done anything inside of it yet, but I wanted to start prepping some things. I made some tags in the last video. I'll link that down below if you missed it. But I thought I would do something a little different today. I'm having a lot of fun with watercolors, paints in general right now. Quarantine has definitely been good for the crafting, hasn't it? If, if you're a crafter, hopefully you've been enjoying some extra crafty times. <laughs> so I have this Prima Pastel Dreams color palette. And I just thought, see, I tend to make things pink, but the pages are already pink in the journal. So I think I'm going to try for some of these paler blue colors. And I say the paler colors, I keep being drawn. Right now I'm so into bright, vibrant colors, but this journal, I don't know, it's probably going to end up with some of that in there, but the paper line that I wanted to use and some of the ephemera that I wanted to use, it's very pale. So I want to be careful that the paints that I choose match the ephemera that I want to decorate it with. So instead of doing something like tea dyeing or coffee staining my bags this time. I just thought I would use some watercolor. It's going to give the glassine that crinkly effect, but it's also just going to add some color to it, right? So I'm getting it wet and I'm just going to take some of this blue color here and I'm literally just washing the bag with the watercolor. I had thought about adding well, first of all, my modeling paste went bad because I didn't use it fast enough. I had a few things like that happen, so that's why I'm trying to make a point to use my products more. So anyway, I'm just washing that in the background. I want it a little heavier, I think. And then I'm going to dry it. And you could do this with any watercolors, cheapy watercolors. You could do this with watered down acrylic paint like we've been doing in some of the tags that I've been sharing on my channel. I had done a few things before I got on this video because I do so much trial and error, you know, experimenting and everything. And I used some glimmer mists and ink sprays. And I just like the more subtle effect for this project than something sprayed, especially on the glassine bag, so we'll see. Sorry, I forget that I shouldn't talk over the dryer no matter how quiet it is. So that's what we have so far. I'm going to stick with the blue. I just wanna make it a little bit more. I should have sprayed my bag first. Okay, let's see. I like that washed look. There we go. And I know that I want to get this flap up here. Okay, and we'll dry that. All right, so now I just want to check my ephemera make sure I'm going in the right direction with my colors, but I like that, that's pretty. And again, it's different than tea staining it, but I think it'll be pretty in my journal. Yeah, I like that. That is what I'm going to do with my glassine bags. So maybe I'll make some of them different colors, except I want to stay pale and I have to remember that. I say that and then I immediately go for this green color, but it's so pretty. Almost forgot to wet my bag again. So how are all of you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying busy. I am I'm super excited to be caught up with my collections and to be working in this journal. What do you know? 
I also filmed a craft room video today. I'm very excited to share that. I don't know if I've shared that yet or not. Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? I have lots of time these days. <laughs> This kind of reminds me of Easter. I'm in to these colors right now. Bright, vibrant colors. All right, I'm just gonna hit that with the dryer. All right, I decided that this was a little too pastel, even though I do love it. I went and grabbed a regular green and I'm going to just try to mute this green a little bit. Oh, that's better. They'll play well together. And again, I'm not really doing anything fancy. I'm just adding the wash. Should probably add some up here. All right, so mixing that other green there made it a much more yellow green, but I think that's probably the right shade that I need for this book. I have to keep paying attention because I have a lot of that ephemera that I want to use. So I think this is a little bit different. This might be like more of a wax paper, but I think we can get the same effect. And I think this time... Hmm. I don't, I keep forgetting that I don't necessarily want to use a lot of pink because my pages are pink, which I'm not used to. I'm used to adding my pink. It's kind of funny. I want to try to remember to get the edges. It's such a simple little thing to do, but I think it's going to add a lot of depth to my journal pages. I know that I was surprised <laughs> how much fun my wings journal turned out to be and how rich those colors turned out. I just really had a lot of fun with that. So I'm trying to slow down a little bit with my creating and just make sure that I'm, I don't know, right now I just need the extra craft time, you know, keep my mind busy, keep, stay off the current events, if you know what I mean, turn off the news, do something that makes me feel good. I hope all of you are taking the time to care for yourself in that way, whatever makes you feel good. Okay, I'm hitting this one with the dryer. There, I like that one. I think it'll be fun to have that color variation on that one and add some embellishment to the front. I didn't even pay attention to how much paint I already have on my hands. So this is the glassing envelope that your lady included. Apparently I'm not spraying this one. I'm getting it wet with my paintbrush. Let's see, what color do I wanna make this one? I think I'm going back to the blue. I really like this light blue here. If I can get it to show up, my brush is pretty dirty. Not really. I think I'm going to get this brighter blue again. They have yellow on my envelope, so we'll see if I end up with green.
All right, so that's pretty dry. I definitely want to make sure and get the flap. I know that I typically glue these into my journal. Okay, and then just to make sure everything matches, I'm going to get the inside of this flap as well. And that is one blue envelope. <laughs> All right, I really like that. It definitely still has that tea dye crinkle, but it's a lot of color instead. So I think I will stop with this project because I'm learning how long my videos actually take me when I decorate things. <laughs> and I think we will work on decorating the front of these. Okay, so I ended up putting all of that ephemera in here. I'll be honest, I have three different packs. It comes with three different packs. Ah, I couldn't resist. So again, I mentioned this in a previous video, but the collection, the paper pack that I really wanted to use in this journal, it's called, it's by Simple Stories and it's called Simple Vintage Garden District. And I just love the colors. It's so springy and it comes with these different ephemera packs. Some of the pieces are repeats, I did notice, but after I found the floral bits, I found that there are some pretty vibrant pinks in there too. So I just put them all in here, and that's really what I'm going to play with in this journal, outside of everything in the kit, of course. I have this doily from you lady, this one that came in the kit, this really pretty cupcake liner that I think would be great for layering. Can you guys believe I'm going to do some layering when I was so... <laughs> <laughs> struggling with it in the last collection. I have all of this cheesecloth. This is coffee dyed and I have some leftover pink. If you missed that previous video, I just got it wet and used Distress Oxide ink and colored it. And it's that simple. You can get whatever color you want. So maybe I'll do that again in this journal, but... I know I like layering with that, so I grabbed that. I also have this little piece of lace, you lady sent, and I have this piece of lace fabric. I know there's a piece of doily floating around from her. And like I mentioned in my setup video, I have some avocado dyed doily pieces. And I might want to cut up some of that. I know it'll happen in the journal. I don't know if it'll happen on these bags. But. And book pages. I grabbed, there is music, there is dictionary page. I actually saw that I had grasshopper on mine and I thought that would be a lot of fun on my green bag. There's grass, oh, and then I ripped it. You guys, can you believe that? Oh, probably you can <laughs> because that's what happens to me. Grassiness, grassland, grass roots. I think I'm going to take all of that and try to tear through grass snakes because I don't necessarily need grass snakes. <laughs> oh goodness, I tore right through grasshopper. Oh well. Oh well. I think I'll go back and use the bottom half then because on the bottom I can have grass land. I just need to not overthink it. We go over this. We go over this every journal collection. <laughs> I hear you say, Lynette, just don't overthink it. Okay, let's see. Do I wanna color my doily? I have this really pretty one. All right, so I have this piece of music from you lady. I think I'm going to layer with some of this music.
I think because this is so white, I'm going to take this tattered rose. It's a really pale pink color. And I'm just going to try to lighten it up or make it a little pinkish. This is a very light color. I really don't use it that often because it's so pale. Maybe it would look good on a dark piece of paper, you know, like a black piece of paper, like some craft paper. I don't know. It's just not one of my favorites. But I'm trying to, so far anyway, I don't think I wanna use any tea dyed stuff in here. I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind. I really wanna stick with the avocado dye. And I did mention in my setup video, but if you guys missed that, to make avocado dyed paper, you really only need to boil your skin. You take your skin and you take your pits and I'll take the skin of the skin and pits of two avocados, put it in my big pan, like my Dutch oven pan. I'll fill it with water. I'll boil it until it looks good, you know, which means the water is getting dark and then it gets a little darker and then it kind of reaches an end point. And then I just let it cool naturally. I'll pour it in my pan that I'm going to dip my paper in and I'll let it cool naturally. I won't water it down like I would with coffee or tea because that's really going to lose the color and it really, it has a point where it's vibrant and then once you start dyeing paper with it, it loses its color. So I don't water it down, I let it go naturally. So anyway, if you wanna try that, it's really simple and I think you would love using it in your journal too. Oh, I'm so drawn to the color right now. I'm getting ready to make some big journals. I actually started a few, <laughs> I'm hooked on the avocado, a few little fabric avocado journals I need to finish up, but I want to make a big, bright journal. So anyway, I'm super drawn to the colors right now. I don't even know if this is going to match my book, to be honest. I guess I can make it whatever I want, right? It's my book. I can make it whatever I want. Okay. I think I'm going to go for it. I don't... Yeah, I'm just going to do it. How bad can it be? The name of this collection is Serenity, so... Why not do what brings me peace, right? And right now, what's bringing me joy at least are these bright colors. I think I used Worn Lipstick Oxide Ink and dyed this cheesecloth. This I had left over from the covers. Yeah, I used it on the cover. I don't know. I'm just cutting it up here, I guess, apparently. I don't really know what I'm going for. It just felt like that big square was too much. See, this is why we didn't do any more backs. <laughs> oh, because I'm already struggling. Can you tell? I have this, I already said I wasn't doing tea dye, I already of course I am, that would be silly. All right, I don't know. I'm off camera, sorry guys. Um, I kind of wanna keep it playful with this ephemera. I should probably just start gluing it down instead of trying to plan it out. That usually works better for me. I think I need the bigger flower. This one's way big, but hmm, I don't know. I kind of like it. Maybe it needs a little bit more. Maybe not because the flower's pink. Maybe it needs to be over here. I 
All right, so that was short-lived. I grabbed my frayed burlap because I feel like I need to edge these pieces of paper. And the reason I grabbed this instead of vintage photo is only because my vintage photo is really goopy right now. And in fact, the brown dauber that I use has had pretty much, I think, every brown that I own on it. So <laughs> it's a mixture of things. I just wanna hit the edges of this with the brown. And again with this. I'm still working on a couple Fabri-Tac glue bottles that I'm at the end of. <laughs> it just gets so gloppy toward the end. But it is my favorite. Glue, as you guys well know. All right. Just want to stretch that across there. The glue is coming out quickly in this bottle. that but I just need to not overthink it so much I think I think that fabric was originally underneath that book page <laughs> oh well this is going to work it was wasn't it okay that's all right just plop it down maybe I can pull this up still yes I'm gonna put some of that under there, even if I cut it off. All right, I like that. Not exactly what I laid down the first time, but that's all right. A lot of different things work. I just really overthink these things sometimes, especially collaging these elements. Oh my goodness. I can sit there and overthink it. And I think I just wanna darken up that edge. Maybe my green's a little too bright. I need to um, ground it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty. I'm losing my workspace again, guys. Sorry. I um, <laughs> I have been filming for a little while, and one project leads to another. It must be time to pick it up a little bit. Stop and pick it up before I start another one, yet another one. All right, I like that. And I realized I decorated the bag that will not fit. Oops, sorry, I bumped my camera on my journal page. Well, I guess it does, it just pokes out. Hmm. I might have to cut it or something. Or fold it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. When I put this in my book, I will fold it and make it smaller. All right, next, our pretty blue bag here. I think I'm just going to keep doing the same things because it's working. I'm going to cut this doily so I can use, use it twice. I love that, I love how it fits on there. I don't know, I really like this pink paper. So pretty. I'm trying to not think and just go. Like if I were in a race <laughs> and I had to make something pretty quickly, maybe then I won't overthink it so much. 
Okay, what else is on this dictionary page? I love all that grassy stuff, but then I have grape on the other side. Grapes, grasp. Let's see. I have the page out of the collection too. Corn cob, <laughs> corn cake. It's just so funny. Correct, correction. All right, we won't get too technical with it. Sometimes it's just fun to see what you have. Again, drawn to the bright pink. Let's see. It does match that paper pretty well though. I like some of these butterflies in here. There's some of these tags in here, like this one says dream. I think I want to cut a piece of this lace and use it here. I feel like covering up the edge of that doily with that maybe. Just some cheesecloth here. I'm going to take this Victorian velvet. Is that what I used? No. I do love it. That's the one that I usually reach for. It's a softer, a little more purpley. A little more purple, I guess I should say. This is like a light peach. It actually matches my avocado dye like perfectly. <laughs> kind of cool. I'm going to use art glitter glue on this because of these delicate little lines. I just like the really fine tip on this glue. And the frayed burlap, I think. I think again, because of the super fine tip and the fact that this glue dries clear, I'm going to use it to attach that piece of lace. So iridescent and pretty. Just in case that edge is sticking out. I actually got to work outside yesterday, the last couple of days. We had a little bit of a warm spurt. That was super nice. And then I knew the cold weather, you know, was right around the corner. We only had two nice days. So I was so happy because I ordered some spray paint from Amazon, which is a really weird thing. <laughs> but I really wanted to paint my craft room furniture and I didn't want to go to the store. I didn't want to just go to Lowe's to go to Lowe's. So I'm like, hey, I bet I can order it. And I could. But the problem was that spray paint. Okay, I'm guessing that a lot of people don't buy spray paint from Amazon. Because the spray paint that I got, it's like it either got too cold or it was old. But the color, it would not mix. The pigments would not mix. So I fought with that paint the whole time, but I kept using it because I was desperate. <laughs> so I was so happy. I got to spray paint my furniture and mow the yard, clean up some of the landscaping. 
It just felt really, really good to be outside. And today it is 40 degrees again. We're in the 40s for the next couple of days. And we actually had brilliant sunshine today and it was snowing for a minute. It was crazy. <laughs> it was just crazy. It was pretty though. I think I'll use some of this again to attach down this cheesecloth. That is the one thing I like about that art glitter glue. It dries clear and that tip is amazing. I love that tip. Just gotta do it. So I think after this video, I'm going to jump in to my journal, do a few spreads with you guys. I'm anxious to get this journal going. I'm also very excited because I want to work on a big journal and do some things with you guys. It's been so long since I've had that kind of extra time on my channel to just do videos. And with the collection being canceled for the month of May, thanks to non-essential shopping. I don't know who picks what's non-essential and essential, but I didn't get a vote for my business. <laughs> Let me tell you what's essential. All those things you're calling non-essential. Oh, wow. I get it. I do. But it means that my collections are on hold because I have to be able to physically go find things. So. Okay, I like that. That works. That's pretty. So now we have two. And now we have these two. Typically, I like making a closure that these can just tuck into. Maybe I'll keep this one a little more natural. Start with the cheesecloth, maybe. I happen to have this book page that came in my collection that is a little pinky. It's out of that Ideals book. I have a lot of free space down here, so I think I'm going to take this. Can you tell that my desk is closing in on me again? Oh my goodness. It's really quite out of control. <laughs> I'm just going to start gluing down again. And then this pink paper. So what have you guys been working on? I know I asked this in a previous video, but I'm wondering how many people are at home and what kind of projects you're getting done. Are you crafting a lot? Are you getting done a lot of like spring cleaning, house, home projects, or both? <laughs> I really wish I was getting both done. I feel stretched in so many directions right now. I think I like this again. I really like this little piece of fabric. I thought it was kind of funny. My pastor's wife was preaching this past weekend. And of course we watch our sermons online, which is different, right? But she was preaching and it's funny because she's very introverted. And my pastor is very extroverted. I don't know. Are you guys that way? If you're married, like, are you opposites with your spouse? That's what she was asking. And she said, they're opposite. And he's struggling so much being at home because he just likes people. He gets his energy from people. And people that are introverted, like I'm introverted, thrive by alone time, right? So I just, 
man, I got such a kick out of that. It's like, yeah, you know, I hate the situation that we're in and I hate what's happening in the world around us. But the being stuck at home part isn't the part that is bothering me. <laughs> I actually am loving being stuck at home. I don't like not being able to pop into the store. You know, there are some disadvantages, but I do not mind being at home at all. Like even with this whole quarantine thing, I could use more time to get my list done. You know, my list is huge <laughs> for the things I would like to accomplish. But anyway. All right, that's that one. Maybe I'll add some gems and of course some words later, but I just like having that much of it done. And one more. I really like the fact that this rose is so brilliant because this bag ended up being more brilliant than I wanted. Ooh, and I think I like that. Just like that. Uses the rest of that lace, but I think I'm okay with that. Just wanna get the edges glued down a little bit. I am, I don't mean to sound like I don't miss people either because I really, really do. There are things that I am missing, not just shopping. I'm on our worship team at church and I'm really missing the corporate worship aspect of things. I miss being with my team, with my church family. I am definitely going to miss I mean, I can't even tell you, unless I had the flu or something as a child, I never missed an Easter Sunday. You know what I mean? My whole life, I've been in church on Easter, even when I wasn't into church for a while there. In my young adult days, I still went on Easter. And it is going to be odd. And I definitely, you know, got together with family on Easter so that's all right we'll just celebrate Easter again we celebrate it every Sunday right <laughs> we celebrate it every day really I really like that one it's pretty I think I'll add my words later so I know I'm not quite sure I know it's a peace themed journal but I'm not quite sure what direction I want to go with it yet I love these die cuts though, they're so cute. And really this ticket would be cute down here, somewhere. You know, I think I will end up adding a word to this later, but I'm just going to add that to my bag for now. All right, you guys, and that is it for this video. Be sure to check the links down below for the design team. You don't want to miss what they're going to do in this collection. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. We're definitely going to crack that book open and get started. So I hope that you found this video a little inspiring. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.